Tonight, as we celebrate the graduation of our Healthman Religious School students, our students become our teachers, sharing the richness of their Torah as reflected in their years at Healthman. We will begin with two recorded messages. Hi, my name is Isabel Pesikoff, and I am heartbroken that I cannot be there with y'all today, but I still want to share some words. When I was younger, I will admit going to Sunday school was a thing my parents forced me to do, and I was not usually a willing participant. However, I quickly bonded with my friends whose parents were also forcing them to go, and Sunday school became a little more bearable. And for that, I have to thank my parents, because by going to Hebrew school for 13 years of my life, I have not only developed some of the strongest friendships, but I now consider Judaism as a defining part of who I am. I utilize the values in my everyday life and made a commitment to try my best to advocate for my community. For instance, this year I worked tirelessly to stand up for the Jewish community at my school after certain events made the environment hostile. I met with Rabbi Silk for advice and worked to make sure that Jewish voices were heard on campus. I don't think I truly valued the community that surrounded me at Emmanuel until I got older. But now, as a graduating senior, I see how much I needed the people here. Through all the drama and school chaos, my friends at Emmanuel have never failed to love and support me in any way they can. This connection grew to be especially strong this year as the senioritis kicked in and going to Hebrew school became a way to see my best friends before we all leave for college. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to say because I've grown up within the walls of Emmanuel. But at Emmanuel, I have developed a strong value system, a strong community, and a strong sense of who I am in the context of Judaism, all of which I realize now are what I need to take with me through my next stage of life to grow into the adult that I am becoming. I love you all. Thank you. Hi, my name is Larkin Boucher. As I've grown into a young adult who is now involved in the Jewish community, I've learned how I connect with the people and ideals set forth for us. One of these connections is with social justice, where I'm able to meet another group of people with similar interests as me, as well as being involved in our Houston community and further than that. Being a student at Healthman Religious School has helped me to connect meaningfully with the Reform Movement's Religious Action Center. Through the generous support of endowed youth leadership funds here at Temple, I was offered the wonderful opportunity to attend the Rax Latakin Seminar in Washington, D.C. this past January. That experience enabled me to be in a room full of hundreds of other like-minded Jewish teenagers. As a result of my participation in Latakin and Helpman Religious School, I was nominated and accepted into one of the fellowships that the RAC provides, which is a focus on voting. This is important to me because not only have I been given a new community with which I can connect to, but at the end of the fellowship, I'll be implementing a project in our community, putting my faith into action. I'm so grateful for the opportunities given to me by Emmanuel and the Reform Judaism movement as a whole, and I hope to continue to be involved as I continue to grow, both in age and in the knowledge I possess. Thank you. Maddie. Hi, my name is Maddie Frank. When I graduated from elementary school, I stepped out of the Jewish bubble I had grown accustomed to. I no longer had the opportunity to learn about Judaism at school and no longer remained constantly surrounded by my Jewish community. Other than occasionally lighting candles for Shabbat on Friday nights, I felt generally disconnected from Judaism as a whole. However, on the first day of Wednesday night school, the handful of Jews in my grade packed into what we called the Shalom Shuttle our carpool system to Hebrew school, and headed to Emmanuel. For the first time at my new school, I felt the strong presence of my Jewish community, one that I didn't even realize I missed. When I arrived at Hebrew school, that feeling strengthened. Although all of my classmates come from different schools and places in their lives, we all support each other because of our Jewish foundation. In eighth grade, I became a TA to inspire kindergartners to develop the same sense of connection and community. Over the next four years, I watched friendships develop and kids grow increasingly eager to go to Sunday school and build upon their Jewish community and identity. Meanwhile, each Wednesday, I learned about Jewish morals and different interpretations of the Torah while expanding on my love for Israel. After October 7th, St. John's became extremely polarized and anti-Semitic sentiment arose. 
Hebrew school became an outlet for me to share my opinions that I couldn't at school and receive support and validation. My teachers and classmates reminded me that we are all in this together, an important lesson that I brought back with me and applied to the Jewish affinity group at my school. Now, as I prepare for college, I will be sure to create more invaluable relationships and find a Jewish community that makes me feel like I belong. I'm so grateful for the foundation Healthman Religious School has provided me as I embark on the next chapter of my life. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Uh, my name is Jack Applebaum, and I would like to share just a few things about what the temple has done for me. Ever since I was a young man, being Jewish and hanging out with Jewish friends has been a big part of my life. That I want to go twice a week to learn about Judaism? Absolutely not. But every Sunday, it was a chance to connect with other kids who were just as tired as me of being there. And in the end, we all learned something and had a ton of fun. Exploring Israel, the confirmation retreat, and getting involved in a ton of activities helped me see my Jewish identity in a new light. During our Israel trip, I made unforgettable, unforgettable memories and relationships. <laughs> My bad. Unforgettable memories and relationships that I would never have had without that trip. It was not only a fun and exciting trip to go on, but an incredibly generous gift from the Bearish family to reconnect with our Jewish history. The memories and friends I've made with Emmanuel will stay with me forever, and I cannot thank everyone who helped me on the trips and all my teachers enough. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom. My name is Evelyn Rudy, for those of you who don't know me, and I have pre spent pretty much my entire life here at Emmanuel. I think I'm speaking for all of my friends and myself when I say that, let's be honest, none of us wanted to go to Wednesday or Sunday school, ever. It, it was the dreaded two days of the week where we were dragged against our will to learn about Jewish traditions and to read Hebrew. Around 10th grade, I realized that this place was, is actually a second home. Classes started to get a little more interesting, and we had our trip to Israel the following summer. Maybe classes had always been interesting, and I was just selective in hearing things. I guess I'll never know. The Shirley Barish Memorial Israel Experience trip changed my entire life. I am more connected with Israel than I ever have been, making the recent events extremely hard for me and my peers. We made so many friends, all of whom I still keep in touch with and get Israeli dessert recipes from. I have served as a teaching assistant at Healthman Religious School for five years, staying with the same grades, fifth and sixth, and following them up on their journey. I have had the same students for three years, and this year is my last, ending in seventh grade, with many of which who are here today. I have watched these kids grow up, train for their B'nai Mitzvah, and been invited to almost every single one of them. This summer, I will be a counselor to many of these same children at Green Family Camp because I love them so much. Lastly, I have also had the honor of serving as the teen representative to the Emmanuel Board of Trustees for two years. Through that experience, I have learned so much about the temple and what goes on behind the scenes, as well as making friends with adults on board who I can now consider trusted adults. I highly suggest continuing Health and Religious School in eighth grade, and I'm happy I chose that path. I've made lifelong friends here, and I thank all of my teachers for it, whether I was a nice child or not. Thank you. Hi, my name is Maddie Mark. I've been coming to Emmanuel for as long as I can remember. I've grown up here. Emmanuel and Healthman Religious School have always been, held a special place in my heart because it's such a big part of my Jewish life and who I am as a Jewish teen. I've had the opportunity to meet some of my best friends over the years here, people who I know will be li my lifelong friends. When my parents gave me the opportunity to stop coming to Temple and Wednesday night Hebrew school, I chose to stay because it let me further my Jewish studies. 
This year has especially been the best and most interesting because we have gotten to learn and talk about important topics. We've discussed life on campus, taking care of our mental health, and had a chance to learn from a planned parenthood educator. These sessions highlighted information we will need to know for college and the rest of our lives. It's been a great experience getting to come back to the congregation every year and learning with some of my best friends. Overall, I'm so grateful I continued coming back coming because it helped me become a strong, educated Jewish woman. Shabbat Shalom. Hi, my name is Hannah Marmo. Um, as I was writing this, I did not really know where to start. Healthman Religious School has allowed me to not only foster my learning through targeted education, but also experiences such as the Shirley Barish Memorial Israel trip. However, my lack of clarity about what to say today had nothing to do with the experiences, but rather the people. For the entirety of my education, I have been one of the only Jews in my grade, or really in my school. When it came time for my bat mitzvah, like most kids, I was looking forward to my party and invited a large portion of my middle school class. After the invites went out, I got a lot of questions regarding the significance of a bat mitzvah and a lot of comparisons to quinceaneras, which, after going to one last year, really bears no resemblance. <laughs> It felt exhausting to have to explain the ceremony over and over again with the only comparison I could offer related to an event that wasn't the same at all. Looking back now, my frustration with the endless questions brought me closer to my health and religious school friends. With them, our friendship was easy, as we had a major thing in common. Instead of having a barrier from lack of understanding, our friendship was able to thrive and grow through various religious school activities, allowing me to meet some of my best friends. I am so grateful for the opportunity that Healthman Religious School gave me to cultivate a community of people that I might not have met otherwise. Hey, I'm Cole Nodler. Um, shit. Um, Eman I'm sorry. Emmanuel has always been here to help me and my family through tough times, and I'm very grateful that it's been here. Uh, the best thing at my that I've done in my time at Emmanuel has been the Israel trip that we took in the summer of 2022. Getting to spend three weeks in a place that I'd never been to before and being with people that I grew up with was a really special trip for me and I know for everyone else. I've really enjoyed all the time that we've spent together over the last 16 years going back to Becker, and I'm glad we've spent this time together to learn and watch each other grow. So thank you to Emmanuel and to all the staff that's been with us since we were little. Shabbat Shalom. My name is Josie Pulaski, and I've been a participant of the Healthman Religious School program for as long as I can remember. Reflecting on my time here, I would be mistaken not to show my appreciation for the countless educational and life lessons that I have learned within these walls over the past 18 years. However, without a doubt, what I will miss the most is this unique, tight-knit community. Going to Emory Wiener, where I entered sixth grade, I noticed that most of my classmates had already formed strong connections, as they had known each other since preschool. Unfortunately, I did not feel that I had this study foundation at school, but luckily, I know I always had my temple friends to rely on. I probably would not have believed you if you told three-year-old Josie that at 18, she would be best friends with the girl who bit her on the playground in Mr. Todd's class. Shout out, Hannah Marmo. <laughs> but seriously, I have been able to foster connections with my graduating class that I now can't imagine life without. So, as we all move through the coming stages of our lives, I hope we use Emmanuel as a place to rekindle and reconnect our friendships and continue to strengthen our Jewish identity as our parents and grandparents have done before us. Thank you to all of the clergy, educators, and temple staff who have helped develop us into the proud Jewish adults we are today and provided us with an uplifting, safe, and supportive environment preparing us for the future. Hi, my name is Sam Rosen. Even in times of uncertainty, Emmanuel has always been a constant for me. Throughout my life, there have been times when I did not know what my next, 
my next step would be, like where I was going to attend middle school or high school or college. However, I always knew where I would be every Wednesday night. Hebrew school provided me with a sense of stability and certainty, as well as a safe outlet for me to be myself. Currently, I attend a Catholic all-girls high school. Yeah. St. Agnes, where there is only one other Jewish girl in my grade. Although I've had a great experience overall, I still feel a sense of isolation. Before going there, I had no idea how different the culture was going to be. I've learned to adapt for the most part, but I do not particularly enjoy sitting through mass or correcting my theology teacher's Hebrew pronunciation. However, I did enjoy celebrating Yom Tov Eschram last April 1st. <laughs> Even though everyone may think that I am an all-knowing rabbinical scholar at school, I still choose to continue my Jewish education here, not only to expand my knowledge, but to keep coming home to the people I love and feel the most comfortable with. My freshman year, my favorite theology teacher foresaw me becoming Rabbi Sam Rosen. And two weeks ago, my rabbi called me Sister Sam. So I may as well embrace being Sister Rabbi Sam. Thank you, Emmanuel, for teaching me, no matter if I'm a sister, a rabbi, or a sister rabbi, I am Jewish and I have a home here. Hi, my name is Mia Septimus. Nostalgia is a difficult thing to describe. The odd and slightly unsettling feeling comes with memories of my childhood as I walk through these doors. Every room and hallway of Emmanuel holds a different memory, whether it's sitting in services with my dad before Sunday school in my pajamas, or reading my bat mitzvah speech on the pulpit in the sanctuary, only with braces and purple hair. This place and the people in it have embraced me over all these years, and I feel like, in a way, I grew up here. Most of the people graduating with me today have known me for almost all my life, and have seen me go from unwillingly attending services to becoming a TA, mentoring kindergartners and exploring their own Jewish identities. After all these years of begging my parents to let me skip Sunday school, I'm suddenly not ready to leave. I've formed such a strong sense of community and Jewish identity here that I know will stay with me for the rest of my life. Thank you. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. My name is Natalie Walters. Being Jewish has always been a big part of my identity. I have attended Hebrew school at Helfman Religious School for over a decade and I went to Jewish sleepaway camp, which was always the highlight of my year. As Helfman Religious School seniors, we had the opportunity to learn about how we can bring faith with us to college and how we can incorporate it into our daily lives, like being a mensch. These are lessons that I will take with me for the rest of my life. As I think about my next four years as a college student, I'm excited to discover new opportunities and join groups like Chabad and Hallel. I want to stay true to Judaism, and I can't wait to continue my learning. Thank you. Hi, my name is Noah Granoff. The highlight of my experience at Healthman Religious School was participating in the Shirley Barish Memorial Israel Experience last summer. Throughout my three weeks in Israel, I visited countless holy sites and synagogues that all felt special, yet it was the people I met and the experiences I had that felt the most spiritual. It was the man making my falafel who told me that his daughter's name is also Noah. It was, constantly con it was instantly connecting with the group of teenagers my age living on the kibbutz where my group was staying. It was walking through a variety of diverse, colorful markets where the air filled with an aroma of new spices. It was the normality of walking up to IDF soldiers on the street and engaging in conversation with them. It was a stranger welcoming us into her home to make challah. It was sleeping outside in the desert and waking up at 4 a.m. to hike up Mount Masada in time for the sunrise. And it was especially the spontaneous late night hike my rabbi took my friends and me on, where we laid down on the gravel, staring up at the stars for what felt like an eternity. 
The new country I was visiting for the first time immediately became another home to me. The feelings I felt on that trip were beyond what I had felt before. I felt so seen, so safe, so understood, so loved, and so known, even in a place full of complete strangers. My religious and spiritual life has always been about connecting with something greater than myself. For me, that is more community or place than God. Being part of special Jewish communities such as Green Family Camp, Jewish day schools, and especially my experiences here with Healthman Religious School are the times that I felt most spiritual and most connected to my Jewish identity. Shabbat Shalom. Dearest graduates, Please know that while I am the one to have the opportunity to offer these words of blessing, the sentiments I express and wishes come from all of your teachers and clergy and the Healthman Religious School team, especially Ms. Michelle, who is my long-term partner and teammate in teaching 12th grade. You should know how much we have enjoyed seeing you every week, learning with you and from you, and having a front row seat in the goings-on of your senior year. Let me start by saying we're very proud of you. I imagine you've heard these words a lot over the years. And as you enter into this graduation season, they are only more pronounced. They are heartfelt and genuine. We celebrate you and recognize your significant accomplishment in graduating from our Healthman Religious School. You have done something that most do not. You have dedicated yourself to Jewish study and community in ways that make you unique among your peers. You and your families have chosen to remain on a course of learning and growth all the way through your high school years. You chose to spend your most precious, limited resource, your time, here with us in this place. My greatest hope is that you reflect on the hours that you've spent with us, all the conversations and experiences and sessions, and you recognize that because, because of them, you are better, and that they have enriched your days, added color to your lives, and propelled you to something greater than you would be without them. Being the realist I am, and having listened to all of you speak tonight, I know that you weren't always so enthusiastic about being here every week. But you should know, we have laughed more, learned more, been challenged more, and experienced greater blessings and joy because you have been a part of this holy and sacred place and because we have shared so many times together. Yes, because you showed up so many times for classes and programs and events, but more importantly, because you shared your precious and beautiful souls with us in a generous, in a times vulnerable way, we are all better. This place is better because you are a part of it. I want to say that on those days when it was difficult to be here, when you didn't want to be here, when time made it hard to be here, especially those times when you honored your commitment to be here and show up and to be part of us, we thank you. Your class is unique. You have been since you were in elementary school. We've shared a lot over the years. I recall sweet times of celebrations and milestones and meetings and conversations in my study and in your classroom over the years to remind you about the big important things and to help navigate when things felt rocky. And sometimes they did feel rocky. All of those were part of your learning and have led you to this day. Always remember that your greatest superpower is the ability to help others and be a blessing in the world. And the way that you make others feel when you are, when you are doing things, when they are with you, is perhaps the most revealing measure of your character. And so now as you prepare to change course, to do something different, to take the next step in your learning and growth, for many of you to leave your childhood homes in this city, we feel all the pride and some sadness. It's hard to imagine what this place is going to look and feel like without your physical presence on a weekly basis. And part of you remains. The insights of Torah that you taught, the engagement with traditions, 
the spirit of your questions, those things are now beautifully woven into the fabric of this place and our story and have become part of Emmanuel. Our hope is that just as you, is that you have given us part of your story and your story remains here, that part of us and our story travels with you and is a part of you. The choices you make, every new thing you experience, we are linked, forever connected in a very special way. And a big part of that is because of the commitment you and your families have made to this place. We do not take that for granted. We pray that the days ahead will be filled with goodness and blessing. Wherever you go, we want you to email and text and call and visit us. And you can tell us all about your successes and your triumphs, the things that excite you and what you're hoping for. And when life feels hard and confusing or dark, we want you to email and text and call us and visit us and share those things as well so we can be close to you in those moments as well. Always remember, you are so precious to us. This will forever be your home congregation, a place where you are cared about and welcomed, a place where your picture hangs on the wall, and a place that is better because you have been a part of it. I now invite this year's Healthman graduating class to please rise in their place for a special blessing. The words of blessing that have been bestowed upon you throughout your whole lives, they're words that are ancient and hallowed by time, words that remind you of our hopes and prayers for you as you mark this joyous occasion in your life. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the light of God's presence shine down upon you, be very sweet and gracious to you. May God's goodness always be turned to you and grant you peace. Amen. I invite the